Hey guys, welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave, and today we're going to take a look at the reason why Elon is building these starships, and the reason he wants to build a colony on Mars. So don't go away. I'll be right back. Please hit like and subscribe. It lets myself and YouTube know you're enjoying these videos. There, there are really two fundamental paths. History is going to bifurcate along two directions. One, one, one path is we stay on Earth forever, um, and then there will be some eventual extinction event. Um, I, I don't have an immediate doomsday prophecy, but there's, it's eventually history suggests there will be some, some doomsday event. Uh, the alternative is to become a space-faring civilization and a multi-planet species, which uh, I hope you would agree that is the right way to go. Yes? Elon's not building Starship just to be a multi-planetary species. He's doing it to save humanity. Virus or a disease? I'm not by any means saying that the coronavirus is going to be the one to take us out. But just look at the panic that it's caused. But have you tried to go to the store? Or have you watched the news lately? I'm sure most of us have seen this, and we've all been affected by it one way or another. But something one day is going to come along and do us in. It could very well be a virus. There's a prediction called the doomsday argument. This states that there's a 95% chance that the human race will be extinct within 9,120 years. That basically only gives us a 5% chance of surviving. That's not very much. And that doesn't mean it's going to take that long. That just means that by that time, we will be gone. There are currently 320,000 different viruses out there today. We could always bioengineer our own virus. Many of these could mutate into something much deadlier. Some of them it would be required to jump species. In other words, jump from an animal to human. But that's been known to happen also. But a virus or a disease is only one way we could end up extinct. It could end up being a super volcano. By this super volcano, we'll first develop big and over. There are currently 20 potential supervolcanoes around the planet. A supervolcano is the most violent volcano there is. One of these could end all life on the planet in a matter of days. That would pretty much ruin any weekend plans you might have had. Okay, so what else could happen? How about an asteroid, a comet, or a meteor? But don't we have people watching for these things all the time? That would have to be a yes and no answer. Yes, we have observatories looking for these all the time. But the problem is, even if they did find it, there may be nothing we can do to stop it. By the time we actually discover it, it might be either too close or going too fast, or we don't have the technology to stop it. Not all inbound objects are found months in advance. It depends on where in the sky it's coming from. If it's coming from the direction of the sun, there's no light reflecting off of it that we can see. That makes it pretty much invisible to us. The craziest part about this is it's happened before. Down in the Yucatan Peninsula.
So what can be done so this doesn't happen today? Actually, NASA's asked Elon for some help. SpaceX is going to be helping to launch the DART. The DART is the Double Asteroid Redirection Test. The principle of the DART is to impact the incoming object and alter its course by only a few degrees, avoiding an impact with the Earth and only causing a near miss. And for this to even be possible, they have to know about the incoming object months ahead of time. But again, this is only a test. They don't even know if it's going to work. There's always the good, reliable nuclear Armageddon. And those that were not killed by the bombs would definitely not survive the nuclear winter. The next possibility is the coronal mass ejection super flare. The super flare. In our own solar system, a 100 micro Tesla wave of radiation that would destroy our ozone layer, killing every living organism on the planet. A solar flare comes from a large explosion on the surface of the sun. They can range anywhere from minutes to hours in length. A very short one minute solar flare releases enough energy to power the entire earth for a million years. For the classification of solar flares, there's an X class which are the worst. The worst X class solar flare that ever occurred was an X 45. This happened on November 4th, 2003. A super flare would be hundreds of thousands of times stronger than that. Being that some of the smaller X-class flares could cripple our economy and cripple our infrastructure, these larger ones would destroy humanity. Gamma ray burst. A gamma ray burst is a narrow beam of intense radiation released from a supernova. Getting hit by a gamma ray burst is the equivalent of climbing inside of a microwave oven with it at full power for about an hour. But this would happen in about one second. This would be something that no living creature could walk away from. Not even the super resilient cockroach. Well guys, that's all I have for you today. Be careful and be safe. Help us, Elon. You're our only hope. This here is the mob. These are my patrons. There are some amazing people. Hey, guys, we have a new patron today. I want to say hello to Roger. Thank you, man, for everything. And welcome to the mob. And you, too, can join the mob for as little as $1 a month. Check it out in the description.